Kitakubu. Hey everyone, Kita Sean here, so welcome back to another Fate Grand Order video. The Fate Workroom collaboration event is coming soon to the USA version of Fate Grand Order, and of course that means new servants will be joining the game. In today's video, we'll be focusing on Voyager and discuss if he is worth the role or not. Both Kijo Koyo and Utsumi Edis will be featured in a different video. So let's go ahead and talk about Voyager. Voyager is a 5 star foreigner servant with max attack of 10,450 and 1,500 and 592 HP before Grail. Voyager star absorption is 153, star generation 15.1% and P charge on attack is 0.56% and MP charge on defense is 3%. Voyager's command card consists of 2 quicks, 2 art, and 1 buster. All 3 cards do 3 hits and the extra does 5 hits. Very solid hit counts which will definitely allow him to get decent amount of MP gauge and critical stars. Now let's talk about Voyager's skills. Skill 1 is Voyager of the Stars A. It is a 30% to 50% MP battery, grants self debuff immunity for 3 turns, and gains 10 critical stars. Already good with the 50% MP battery, and the other effects are honestly just an added bonus. This is a skill where you can technically use any time without worrying about wasting the other effects. The debuff immunity for 3 turns is great as well makes him great for challenge quests and the 10 critical stars i mean you know they're stars you you always take those and it's also on a six turn cooldown skill number two is swing by a grants himself evade for a turn increase own quick performance and reduces one enemy's quick resistance for three turns from 10 to 20 percent definitely annoying that this skill has his survivability effect and his damage increase effect but it's still really good you're technically doing 40 percent damage with his quick cards and that helps him because you know his attack stats are pretty low this is also at a six turn cooldown skill three is protection of world and cosmos b increases one ally's critical star absorption for one turn for 300 to 600 percent increase party's critical damage for three turns from 20 to 30 percent and increases party's critical attack chance resistance for 3 turns from 10 to 20%. A very powerful skill that allows for huge critical damage and resistance. This is also on a 6 turn cooldown. Now onto his passive skills. Existence outside the domain C gains 2 critical stars every turn and increases own debuff resistance by 6%. Independent navigation A. Increases own critical damage and art performance by 8%. This helps him get a little bit more MP generation with his art cards. And then contact with Civilization D. Increase own buff removal resistance by 10%. Now, let's move on to Voyager's Noble Phantasm. Pale Blot Dot O Distant Blue Star is an AoE quick type Noble Phantasm that deals 150% extra damage to enemies with sky attributes, charges party's MP by 20% and further charges the MP gauge of living human allies by 10%. There are actually quite a lot of sky attributed enemies so you will be able to deal that extra damage but for the extra 10% MP gauge to living human allies there aren't that many targets even in the JP version of FGO. Most likely you're not going to be using these targets in team setups anyways. So just think of the effect as an extra bonus. But the 20% MP charge is really good. It helps him become a really good farmer. That is right. Voyager is a quick farmer. Dantes is the go-to quick farm servant. But if you don't have Dantes, Voyager is basically the other servant you should be targeting. Honestly, it's arguable on who is better. Voyager might not be able to put up damage numbers like Dante's, but Voyager's kit was made so that he can farm. You definitely want to pair Voyager up with Scotty, double Scotty of course for the 3 turn farming. Even in challenge quests, you want to pair him up with Scotty. When it comes to CEs, I do think anything that has 50% MP at the start of battle is great. But to be more specific, Traces of Christmas is the best. It not only gives 50% MP, but 10% more quick performance and MP generation. As for command codes, anything that helps quick performance and critical damage like in existence phantasmal horse. Overall Voyager is a servant that is definitely worth the role. 
If you don't have Dantes, Parvardi, and Lancelot Berserker, or you're stuck with Parvardi and Lancelot Berserker, Voyager will make your life easier. So yeah, that's basically going to be about it. What do you guys think about Voyager? Are you guys going to be rolling for him? Comment down below and tell me, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.